The deep sea is Earth's final frontier. It is a realm of perpetual darkness, crushing pressure and freezing temperatures. Yet even in this hostile environment, life thrives. We know so little about this vast and mysterious world. It is an underwater universe waiting to be explored. For centuries, the deep sea has captured our imaginations. Ancient mariners told tales of monstrous creatures lurking in the depths. Today, we know these stories are just myths. But the reality of the deep sea is even more incredible. It is home to bizarre and beautiful creatures found nowhere else on Earth. Exploring the deep sea is a daunting challenge. It requires advanced technology and brave explorers. But the rewards are immense. By venturing into this unexplored frontier, we can unlock some of Earth's greatest secrets. We can learn about the origins of life, the limits of biology, and the potential for life on other planets. The deep sea is a treasure trove of scientific discovery. It is a place where we can push the boundaries of human knowledge. It is time to shine a light into the abyss and uncover the wonders that await us. NASA is renowned for its ambitious space exploration missions, pushing the boundaries of what we know about the universe. But did you know that NASA also dedicates significant resources to studying the mysteries of the deep sea? It might seem surprising at first. What does the vast expanse of outer space have to do with the dark, unexplored depths of our oceans? The answer is more than you might initially think. The extreme conditions of the deep sea, such as immense pressure and the complete absence of sunlight, are remarkably similar to environments found on other planets and moons. By studying life forms that thrive in these harsh environments on Earth, NASA can gain valuable insights into the potential for life beyond our planet. To achieve this, NASA collaborates with leading oceanographic institutions from around the globe. Together, they develop and refine cutting-edge technologies specifically designed to explore the deep sea. These advanced technologies include remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs, and autonomous underwater vehicles, or AUVs. ROVs are tethered to the surface and meticulously controlled by skilled pilots. They are equipped with high-definition cameras, powerful lights and robotic arms to collect samples and conduct intricate experiments. AUVs, on the other hand, operate independently without direct human control. They follow pre-programmed missions to meticulously map the seafloor and gather critical data. These collaborations between NASA and oceanic institutions are crucial for advancing our understanding of the deep sea and its many secrets. By pooling their expertise, knowledge and resources, they can overcome the formidable challenges of deep sea exploration and make groundbreaking discoveries that could change our understanding. The deepest part of the ocean is the Hadal Zone. It lies between 6,000 and 11,000 meters below the surface. This zone is named after Hades, the Greek god of the underworld. The name is fitting as this region experiences perpetual darkness, crushing pressure and near freezing temperatures. Few life forms can survive in this extreme environment. The pressure at these depths is immense, over 1,000 times the pressure at sea level. It is enough to crush most creatures. The water is also very cold, hovering just above freezing. Despite these harsh conditions, life persists in the Hadal zone. Scientists have discovered unique creatures adapted to this extreme environment. These include giant amphipods, which are crustaceans that resemble oversized pill bugs and snailfish, which are translucent fish with soft bones. These creatures have evolved unique adaptations to survive the challenges of the Hadal zone. Studying these adaptations can provide valuable insights into the limits of life on Earth and the potential. Section 4, Extremophiles, Clues to Life's Beginnings and Beyond. Some of the most fascinating inhabitants of the deep sea are extremophiles, organisms that have adapted to survive in some of the harshest conditions on Earth. These are organisms that thrive in conditions that would be deadly to most other life forms, showcasing the incredible adaptability of life. They can withstand extreme temperatures, immense pressure, high acidity and even intense radiation, environments that seem inhospitable to life as we know it. In the deep sea, extremophiles are often found near hydrothermal vents, where the conditions are particularly extreme. These vents spew superheated water rich in chemicals from the Earth's interior, creating a unique and challenging environment. 
The water is toxic to most life, but extremophiles have evolved unique adaptations to utilize these chemicals for energy, turning a hostile environment into a thriving ecosystem. Scientists believe that extremophiles may hold crucial clues to the origins of life on Earth, offering insights into how life can begin and endure in extreme conditions. The early Earth was a much hotter and more volatile place than it is today, with conditions that were likely similar to those found around hydrothermal vents. Conditions around hydrothermal vents may closely resemble those early environments providing a window into the past. Extremophiles are also of great interest to astrobiologists who study the potential for life on other planets and moons in our solar system. Many celestial bodies in our solar system, such as Jupiter's moon Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus, are thought to have subsurface oceans that may harbor hydrothermal vents similar to those on Earth. By studying extremophiles in the deep sea, we can learn more about the potential for life in other extreme environments both on Earth and beyond, expanding our understanding of life's resilience. They provide a valuable window into the diversity of life and the possibility that we are not alone in the universe, suggesting that life could exist in places we have yet to live. New species, expanding our understanding of biodiversity. Every expedition into the deep sea yields astonishing discoveries, revealing the hidden wonders of our planet's most mysterious frontier. Scientists are constantly finding new species of creatures that have never been seen before, each one adding to our knowledge of marine life. These discoveries highlight how much we still have to learn about the deep sea and its inhabitants, which remain largely unexplored. One of the most exciting aspects of deep sea exploration is the potential for discovering creatures that defy our current understanding of biology, challenging what we know. The deep sea is home to many animals with unusual adaptations and appearances that seem almost alien, showcasing nature's creativity. Discovering new species is not just about adding to the catalogue of life on Earth, it is about expanding our comprehension of life's diversity. It is also about understanding the interconnectedness of ecosystems and the importance of preserving biodiversity, which is crucial for the health of our planet. Each new species discovered provides another piece of the puzzle, helping us to understand how life on Earth evolved and how it continues to thrive in various environments. The deep sea is a vast reservoir of biodiversity and every new discovery underscores the importance of protecting this fragile and vital ecosystem for future generations. By studying these creatures and their unique adaptations, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the wonders of life on Earth and the importance of preserving it for future generations, ensuring that this incredible diversity continues to inspire and educate. Section 5.